Hello, Natasha. Hello, Slim Brother. It's week number seven of the course. How many pounds have you lost this week? Two. And what's your total weight loss? Two? It's zero. Zero. No. What's been your highlight to have lost the two pounds this week? Um, I had a five hour walk on Thursday. Where did you go? Market and Park. And who were you working with? My dogs. Well done, that's good. I didn't mean for it to be five hours. I left at half seven and I got to the top of my street at half nine at night and I realised I'd lost my keys so I went back to look for them. <laughs> And I got home at midnight. So how were you feeling after that? Uh, well, it was torrential rain on Thursday. There's night, so I was very wet and very miserable. <laughs> Did you feel like you had a cold a few days later or not? No. Felt okay. Right, how have you been getting on nutritionally this week? I can't remember what I've eaten this week. Right, you said that you weren't, you haven't been paid still. No. So you've been going around to your friends for food? Well, actually, I have been going around at half seven in the morning and waking her children up while she's at work and getting them off to school, so she's been feeding me. And what sort of things has she been feeding you? Um, I had my cereal there. I had some cereal. And she made me chicken pasta bake and toast and Chinese. Right, Natasha. Yeah. Do you feel like you have stuck to anything this week? I'm still drinking water. Does that count? Well done. I'm, I can't. I can't get any proper food if I've got no money then. Remember when we were sitting here for a couple of weeks ago, and we were both really excited the fact that you'd look, you'd actually been the biggest loser of the whole of my courses altogether. In two weeks, you'd lost 18 pounds. Yeah. And also, you've won the title of biggest gainer because you've also put all that back on and an extra two pounds last week. Yeah. But how can I eat proper food if I've got no money? Okay, fruit, vegetables, and salad. I haven't got none. And I haven't got any money at all. I've got zero. I haven't even got any fags. So you're relying on other people's food? Yep. Okay. At the minute. In these circumstances, it's just really important just to limit your amount of food. If you can't change what you're eating. I haven't eaten a lot. I just. The problem is when you see free food or see food when you can't afford food, you generally eat more than you need. So just try and think about eating just as much as you need okay. and saving some for later, maybe, if okay. that's possible. I didn't eat all my chicken fried rice. I left half of that. And then why did you leave half of it? Because I was full. That's good. That's a great thing. I did leave it in the cooker to eat the next day, but then I didn't go around the next day, so I ended up leaving it until today. So how many meals have you been having per day? One. Okay. So really try and limit your one meal a day days and really try and snack more on any food that you can get your hands on. Like... I've got nothing in the house at all, absolutely nothing. I've got um, dog food. <laughs> and I can't eat dog Slim food. I wouldn't recommend eating dog food. No. Okay. Now we have noticed your t shirt on a light note. It's the Clark sale. Yep. What's the best offer in Clark's at the moment? I think it's 75% off. Off everything? Off the sale items. Really? Yep. And people are going crazy for that. Well, we've run out of Phillips. <laughs> so I think so. And what's your advice for people in... Is it Clark's in Westfield? Yep. What's your advice for people that might come into Clark's Westfield wanting to buy some shoes from you? Uh, wear socks. <laughs> Otherwise I'm not going near you. <laughs> and when you bring your babies in, make sure they have socks on. Dirties. Right, we've got one week left of the course, Natasha. Yep. So far, I feel like mentally you are a bit more open now to change, and obviously you've still got the water and everything. Yep. But I still haven't been able to give you any results. So what would you like for next week? I don't know. 
But, yeah, I don't know. Because if, if, are you saying that going to sleep at 10 o'clock helps you lose weight? Absolutely. But I can't sleep at 10 o'clock at night. So even if you can just lie in bed and just relax. I can't do that. Or watch television. Just something to try and bring your sleeping habits back. You see, I have to be active to be tired to want to go to sleep. If I'm just lying there, I don't feel tired. Okay, so at 6 o'clock in the evening or early in the morning, try and do some exercise. Take the dogs out there. When do you currently take the dogs out? Late at night, right before I go to bed, so okay. it knackers me out. So you need to do that earlier and therefore you'll be tired earlier. Okay. So 8 o'clock maximum, if possible, try and do it at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock? Okay. Can you tell us, please, think about, or tell us today, what's the day in the life of Natasha? What I did today. What time you got up, what time you eat, where you go? Uh, I got up at half past seven. I let my dogs out. I got, no, I didn't get dressed. I went in my pyjamas. I went to my friend's house. And I got her children up. I had an argument with, their cho- with her children. Watched them have a fight. Got the breakfast, had my breakfast, sent them off to school, sent one of them off to school, the other one didn't go to school till 10. Sat on the laptop, waited for him to go to school, went home, had a bath, got changed, went to work, got home, lay on the sofa, and then got up and come here. What time did you go to work? I was meant to be there at 1, but for some reason I left my house at 10 to 12. And I got into work at half past twelve. And what time did you finish work? Five. And how did you feel after you finished work? I was alright until I had to walk home. And what have you eaten all day today? A cereal. I had a bowl of cereal this morning. This morning. And yeah. how do you feel now? Well, obviously I'm hungry. So what are you going to do for your tea tonight? Um, I'm not going to do nothing. I might borrow some money off my mum. Get a sandwich or something. And what did you eat last night? What day was it yesterday? Sunday. Oh, I went to my dad's and my stepmom cooked me chicken and rice and vegetables. Yeah. Okay, so we've got seven days left of the course. Even I'm not sure how you're going to do this, but as I said, just try and snack and not eat too big a meals, even if you're eating one meal a day. Okay. What is, how many pounds would you like to lose by this time next week? I don't know. I don't know. What would make you happy if you lost this time next week? Anything. I'm looking for a number. Tell me when to stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Any nine, of them ten. sound good, <laughs> to be honest. I don't care. As long as I lose something. Okay. You're at zero at the moment, so as long as you lose one pound, Natasha, shall we do that? Yeah. Our goal is to lose one pound by the end of next week. Okay. And therefore, we will have lost something on this course. Yep. Okay? Yep. Yeah, I can do that. Did you notice, though, that I started gaining the weight back on when I started family problems? Did you notice? Absolutely. Yeah. Stress is the biggest cause of obesity. So blame my mother, then. Don't blame me. Gosh. Bad mum. And tell me. We can't say that, can we? Yeah. Cow. Do you not think that you're to blame any... She's oh. doubtful. Tamlin's done it twice now. It's just obvious that she doesn't like to be in one place for too long. Where are you going to live? Don't know. I'll find somewhere. I'm going to see a house in Nottingham tomorrow. Can you not live with your mum? <laughs> no. Why? When I, I lived with my mum, right, constantly until I turned 13. And then I live with my grandma or my dad, and then sometimes my mum, and then back to my nanas, and then back to my dads, and then sometimes my mum again. So why can't you live with your mum? Because we argue. And she ends up getting me arrested. 
Okay, maybe we shouldn't go into that. No, no. Which is why I can't live with my mother. And obviously not my sister. And I can't live with my grandmother either. Right, please let's think about what we said last week, the fruit to the spirit. The more you can be nice to people, the more people are going to be nice to you. I try to okay. be nice. So let's try and be extra nice. Remember the goal last week was to actually hug somebody. <laughs> Did you do that? Yeah, I hugged my friend yesterday. You didn't hug your mum or your sister though, did you? Nope. Okay. Let's work on nutrition. Okay. I can do that. Have you got anything else you'd like to say to Slimbilla? No. Thank you, Natasha. Thank you.